Hi guys, this is Mr. Pharma. US FDA is one of the biggest pharma regulator in the pharma industry. USA's rules and regulations are very strict. The rules are followed by many countries and are used as the benchmark for regulating the pharma market. The rules followed by USA is the Code of Federal Regulation, which is also called as CFR. USA CFR helps the public and government officials to be aware of the changes in regulation, which will ensure the safety and quality of the products provided by a company or etc. In short, the US Code of Federal Regulations is a database of rules for which most of the companies must comply. CFR being the standard for the US FDA regulations and the USA being a major player in the pharma industry, it is very important for each pharma student and pharma professional to understand what is a CFR. So let's today see the basics of Code of Federal Regulations. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. So what is the Code of Federal Regulation or what is the CFR? In short, it contains the official and complete text of agency's regulation in an organized fashion or organized structure in a single publication. It is a historical collection dating from 1938 to 1995. There are around 50 subject matter titles that contain one or more individual volumes. The CFR is comprised of regulations established by various federal agencies. The regulations also have to go through approval process under authority granted by the president to make sure the regulations will be reasonable and effective in achieving their objectives. The regulations become a part of the CFR after they are finalized and published in the federal register. Let us now see the history of CFR and when it is updated. The first edition of CFR was published in 1938 to provide a codification of all regulations every five years. Beginning in 1963, for some titles and for all titles in 1961, the Office of Federal Register began publishing yearly revisions and beginning in 1972, published revisions in staggered quarters. So when is CFR updated? As soon as the print edition of the CFR is published, the online version is also made available. Each title or volume of the CFR is revised once each calendar year. The titles 1 to 16 are revised as on January 1st and titles 17 to 27 are revised in April 1 and titles 28 to 41 are revised as of July 1 and titles 42 to 50 are revised as of October 1. In addition to this annual edition, the CFR is published in an unofficial format online on the electronic CFR website which is updated daily. So what is the CFR relation with pharma? The CFR is divided into 50 titles that represent broad areas subject to US federal regulation. On the right side of the pane you can see the 50 titles and the title 21 food and drugs is highlighted in blue. Title 21 of the CFR is reserved for rules of the Food and Drug Administration. Each title or volume of the CFR is revised once each calendar year. A revised Title 21 is issued on approximately April 1st of each year and is usually available here several months later. CFR 21 is downloaded from the files of the government printing office and contains the most recent revision. An interesting fact that you may ask, why only 50 titles, not 70, 75 or 100 titles? These 50 titles are made to mimic or show the similarity of the 50 states in USA. So what are the chapters in 21 CFR? 21 CFR is generally known for 21 CFR Part 11 electronic signature. The title 21 CFR is reserved for the rules of Food and Drug Administration. Pharma and food industry deals and oblige the rules set in title of 21 of the CFR. Hence 21 CFR is quite famous in pharma sector. On the right you can see the chapters. The 21 CFR is divided into three chapters. Chapter 1 is managed by the Food and Drug Administration. Chapter 2 is managed by the Drug Enforcement Administration and Chapter 3 is managed by the Office of National Drug and Control Policy. Now let us see important parts that you need to know in 21 CFR. Like mentioned earlier, this chapter is specifically meant for FDA. Some of the important parts in this particular chapter are Part 11 which deals with electronic signatures and records Part 50 which deals about the human subjects in clinical trials. Part 54 which deals about clinical investigators. 
and part 56 which deals about the guidelines for institutional review boards that supervise clinical trials and more importantly part 58 which deals about good lab practices. Let us now understand how to read a CFR or how to understand a CFR citation. For example, if you see here, if it is mentioned as 21 CFR 11.70, that means the title is 21, the part is 11 and the section is 70. So what is the title? The numeric value that is left of CFR is the title. The numeric value to the right of the CFR, I mean at the end, very most end, it is the part. The part here is 11. The numeric value to the right of the period is called the subpart or the section. Now let us say that you want to see a rule or a regulation which is related to food and drug administration. So how to search a CFR citation? There are three types of searches that can be done on the CFR Title 21 database. The first one is to search by part and section number. And the second type of search is by selecting a CFR part number where you use the drop down arrow to select one of the CFR part such as for part title 21 and then search for regulation. The final search is the full text search. Use a single word for example a device or an exact phrase where you can mention it about like device tracking or using multiple words which is connected by and example import and export of a device. So that's how you search a particular rules and regulation in a in CFR 21 database. So what is this 21 CFR part 11? Why is it so famous? The 21 CFR part 11 addresses the compliance requirements for companies and organizations within the life science sector. 21 CFR is the codes of federal regulations that are set by US FDA and it is famous because it involves about the electronical records and electronic signatures. According to the 21 CFR Part 11, electronic records must be reliable, not tampered with without authorization and electronic signatures must be controlled and monitored carefully to ensure trustworthiness. So electronic record is the information in a digital format that is created or used in some way by a computer system. What is an electronic signature? A set of symbols that is unique and legally binding as a handwritten signature but that is used to sign the records in a computer system is called electronic signature. So the 21 CFR part 11 has subpart A, subpart B and subpart C. So if you are a pharma professional, you definitely have to have a clear cut understanding what is a 21 CFR part 11 because it's kind of very important in pharma industry. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.